guest today. Who's here? Uncle Chris. Hello. <laughs> Chris is working hard. Made a mistake with this seam here. So they're supposed to overlap each other. So we just cut off this. We're gonna set this board up here. But we're getting going. We got a 90 degree angle. We're getting going. We cut this one already. So that one's ready for this three foot section going this way for the door opening. All right, Uncle Chris, let's do it. We have our lumber here. We picked the really quality pieces for the bottom plate and the top plate. We're using pieces like this for our studs. Like there's a little bit of cant on there from the mill and that one too. Or there was the problem when I was having the wonky uh, wandering blade on the mill. Yeah. We're using those studs like this one. You could, you could see is a little wavy. Those are studs. The really straight ones are gonna be the top and bottom plates. And uh, we took a shortcut. We're using 4x4s here on the ends instead of doubling up studs. Mm -hmm.
All right, so day two, your build. Day two. So yesterday we had the goal of, well, I wanted to do the two easy walls, which is the back wall and this western wall because there's no openings to it. And I told Chris, if we get those two walls up during your trip, I'll be, I'll be thrilled. So Chris, the Terminator that he is, we pushed through and we also got this, uh, this wall up with the big six foot six opening. What are your thoughts? I thought the, the, the two walls that John had um, initially planned, I thought they went up very easily, especially since I've never done framing before. Uh, obviously the one that's uh, got the opening, that one's harder, it's got the header, um, it's heavier. So I think the biggest thing there was making sure everybody was safe as we lifted that into place. But uh, excited to get this last wall up so that way uh, we can leave today on a high note. Yeah. Were you surprised by the tractor, how it just lifted it up effortlessly? Yeah. I mean, that's kind it's of... A good tool to have, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That was huge. Um, just being able to get the chain involved and being able to lift it up, that was pretty good. So the goal today, we're going to build this wall in two sections and we're going to, well, nail each section down and then we're going to tie it together in the middle with the door header just because it, it's hard to pick up the whole thing it's just the two of us and again it's it's milled timber and it's a lot harder to to lift up than your regular uh kiln dried wood that you can get at the box stores um so yeah it's been fun brother mm -hmm. i've enjoyed it for sure so yeah. looking forward to getting it knocked out today all right i made sure he ate plenty so he's got enough energy for today and uh what else so anyway, we did something a little different. Um, this wall we really planned out. We, I printed out the sheet on that 3D model and then we isolated like each board so we knew our cut sheet so we could make all of our cuts at once on the saw and I think that worked out really well. Now we're gonna do that on this, the same thing on, the, on this wall. There's a bunch of top and bottom cripples and like all these different dimensions that we have to work with. Those walls were pretty easy. We could just eye it up and nail along as we go. But this is, is different with the windows and the headers and all that stuff, the doorway. So first step today, we're just gonna cut all that lumber that we just brought over and then we're gonna, we're gonna get going on the build. Ready? Let's go.
installing the top plate next day day three we just wanted to get continue moving forward on the shed so we wanted to do something to keep, keep us moving in that direction Meg's doing that. This is the top plate. It's the top of the walls, okay? And you're gonna have a butt joint here at the end. It's good to overlap them the other direction. And um, that way you will strengthen the wall because there is gonna be a seam somewhere, usually on a stud like this. Ours is right around there. And uh, that'll tie everything together, distribute the weight of the roof better, and um, you just get a better end product, so. That's what we're doing. I don't know if it's necessary, but I um, I put my top plates across the stud too. I wouldn't want to go in between and have a seam. I don't know if that's necessary or not, but that's what I do. You know who's gonna love this episode? Who? Your mom. Yeah? Yeah. Because my brother's here. Yeah. Mommy's not letting me do anything stupid. <laughs> All right. That one's light, Chris. You got it. Chris is here. Hey. What, the kids? Yeah, the kids. What are you talking about? Oh, you like that you have labor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I tell her. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> so that, that, that last one's got to come in. You mean inside the building? That guy. Is that what you meant? That guy goes in here. Yeah, inside the building. Whoa. Yeah. What happened? Nothing. Chris said that one needs to come inside, as in inside the building. That's the first time I've heard that. That's exciting. Ooh, it's a light one. I like light ones. Oh boy. It's getting hard to maneuver. Inside the building? Inside the building. <laughs> Man, these are all kind of goofy looking. Good. You have that inside the building? Inside. Inside. Man, it's warm in here. <laughs> 